At the dawn of the automotive age, as the 19th century drew to a close, the future of personal transportation was far from settled, with a fascinating battle brewing between various propulsion methods. While cumbersome steam-powered vehicles were heavy and required lengthy startup times, and early gasoline engines were notoriously noisy, often smelly, and difficult to start with a laborious hand crank, the year 1895 illuminated a refined and truly revolutionary alternative, electricity. In the bustling urban centers of America, the electric, horseless carriage rapidly emerged as the sophisticated preferred choice for the affluent and discerning elite. It offered an immediate, clean, and virtually silent driving experience, a stark contrast to its raucous counterparts. Among the pioneering minds of this transformative technology, few were as significant as the vehicles produced by the innovative duo Morris and Salem, most notably their iconic Electrobat. The cutting edge of electric vehicle development in America during the mid-1890s was not in Detroit or New York, but rather centered in the historically rich city of Philadelphia. Here, the visionary engineers Henry G. Morris and Pedro G. Salam combined their expertise to push the boundaries of automotive technology. They had already developed their very first experimental vehicle in 1894, which was a heavy, rudimentary machine primarily constructed by adapting existing electric trolley technology. However, by 1895, their insights and iterative design process led to a significant refinement of their vision with the grand introduction of the Electrobat II. This updated model was deliberately engineered to be much lighter and precisely purpose-built for personal transport, moving away from the heavier utility focus. Recognizing the immense commercial potential inherent in their innovative designs, Morris and Salam swiftly moved toward formally establishing their enterprise which would eventually become the renowned Electric Carriage and Wagon Company. While 1895 might not have been a year of widespread mass production, it was undeniably the crucial year where their pioneering prototypes unequivocally transitioned into viable, marketable commercial products, laying the groundwork for a new industry. The 1895 Electrobat II truly represented an astonishing feat of engineering for its era, meticulously designed to ingeniously overcome the immense weight challenges posed by the nascent battery technology of the time. At its core, it was propelled by a bank of heavy, yet state-of-the-art, lead-acid batteries, which supplied power to two individual 1.5-horsepower electric motors. These motors collectively provided a respectable amount of power for urban driving. 